Alright, what's going on everyone? ODC here, and I'm back with a video. I'm a little bit earlier than expected. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a uh, two-part video today. Um, actually, not a two-part video, but uh, I'm going to be two uploading two live reviews today. If you're watching this on playback, I originally had shot this live, um, and um, that's why I'm talking to people. Uh, people that are live in the chat as they're watching this. Um, so, in case there's any confusion there, I know there's been some confusion in the past with some new uh, people watching my channel. But, um, I just want to say hello, hello. I know it's been quite a while. I have been uh, pretty busy, but... Um, uh, Jossie, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Yeah, I finally got... Uh, Got this Mech Depot in the mail, and I wanted to do a live review, kind of show everybody, you know, see how hard it is to put together. It should be pretty self-explanatory, pretty uh, straightforward as far as that goes. And then later on today, I'll be doing a, uh, I'll be doing a, what you call it, a G.I. Joe, um, well, a Marauder's Task Force create a G.I. Joe character. Uh, actually, a couple, so. Uh, you're still putting yours together? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too cumbersome of a, uh adventure here. Uh, but anyway, here you have your packaging. I, I really don't like to spend a lot of time on packaging. I feel like it's a, it's a waste of time because the packaging is just going to get discarded anyway. But it says Mecha Depot here. It says... Got a couple of photos on the back as far as different things you can do. Um, you can have some of these sets set up differently. Uh, some of them are pretty standard as far as how you can put them together like this. Um, so for this one, I'm just gonna kind of go off of what uh, they have here. Um, hopefully that's um, pretty good uh, as far as that's concerned. But I do like the, uh, the way it's set up here. Uh, Jossie said, uh, be careful with the floor pegs. Just snap two of them trying to take it apart. Oh, boy. That's not going to be fun. All right. So we will be careful. Thanks for the heads up, Dem Guts. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, but this is a 118 scale um, pretty much play set. I, I like to call it a play set because that's pretty much what it is. You put your figures on there and it set them up and you play with it. So there you go. Anyway. No more bullshit. Let's get into it. Because we're not about the bullshit here. We're about the toys, so. Um, oh, my God. This slip cover is, like, is it, like, glued to the box? Piss off. Shove off. Action figure expert, what's going on, bud? Um, I'm going to be doing another video. Like I said, if you're just tuning in, I'm doing a another video tonight. Uh, later on tonight, I said about 6 o'clock, so in a few hours I'll be doing another one. Um, I've been wanting to do a lot of content lately, um, so therefore we're going to do it. Alright, so we have our first package right there, and we got our second package right here, and we got our third package right here, and we got our fourth package right here, and we have this. Assembly instructions, instructionados. Um, what I like to do, especially with um, Joy Toys, I usually, like I said, I did the, I put together the, um, the, I guess, utility vehicle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what was it called again? The hell's the name of that damn thing? You know, well, you know. Anyway, I put that together. I tried to, to uh, do these live videos to see exactly how much time this you will spend to actually do this before you purchase it um, and kind of just show you the growing pains of kind of putting one of these together. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to go through the growing pains with you because I've never done one of these yet. This is my first set. Um, I actually picked this up off of, where was it? <sighs> where was it? I think I picked this one off of a Small Joe's. They had a... Um, I had these running a little bit cheaper. Um, oh, wait. No, no, I didn't get off Small Joe's. I got this off Locker Toys. Locker Toys had this. I'm sorry. I ordered a different set from Small Joe's, and that's on the way. But anyway, here's the 
instruction sheet. Like I said, I just like to kind of go through everything. Um, I mean, it shows what you can do here, um, what pieces to put together and such for the weapons racks and, and, and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, we're gonna go through the growing pains together. So let's get all this stuff opened up. We're gonna go with the, I think these are like the little kind of weapon stands, locker stands. Um, and if you have collected other lines over the years, if you are not new to the 118th scale um, collecting community and um, you've been collecting, you know, stuff from like, uh, what was it? Like World Peacekeepers and such, like the play sets and stuff. A lot of that stuff can actually come into play with some of this, like the old lockers and stuff that they used to have and um, some of the beds, like the bunk beds and stuff. You can probably make room on some of these play sets that are specific and use some of those sets with these. What I want to do, what I've always wanted to do was instead of actually, because I don't own the USS flag, um, I've always like been more enamored on the inside of the USS flag as opposed to just a aircraft carrier that can hold aircrafts. Um, I'm always wanted to see more detail with the living quarters and such and the battle stations, stuff like that. So this actually gives me the idea to want to use this as kind of like the interior of the flag or different sections of the USS flag. Um, so you can use this with your Joes. Like I said, it's all 118 scale. Um, or you can use it with your Joy Toy stuff. Like I said, I'm just giving you guys the option um, as to what you can use this with. Personally, I'm going to be using this with my Joy Toy stuff, but that's just me. Um, what you call it? If I can figure this out. Oh, Lord have mercy. There we go. A hunk of hunk of burning love. All right, let's see. Terry Turner, what's going on, buddy? What is going on? Assembly required, indeed. There's quite a bit of pieces. Um, just with the weapons racks, the separate pieces, you have one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight of those, and I'm dropping shit all over the place. And then we have some beams here and some wall panels. It looks like almost like a doorway. It'd be cool if we got some swinging doors also. Looks like next we're gonna be assembling the steps and everything. And there's no order, no rhyme or reason behind some of the stuff. You just kind of like go at your own pace, you know? But um, I thought this was gonna be a pretty cool set and we can erect our set. Ha 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 ha, sorry. Um, so we have <laughs> one, two, two beams here. And then we have four. And then we have six. And seven of those. Seven of those, excuse my dog hair. Um, there's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and a 13th piece in that packet. So 13 pieces in one packet. Um, I believe it's 10 pieces in that other packet with these. Um, and by 10, I mean, you have a bunch of other packages with those pieces and these look like the bottoms possibly i don't know we'll figure it all out like i said trying to separate everything so nothing gets mixed up and i'm not like what the hell does this go to so i'm gonna try and get the floor done first that's just the way i like to handle my situation i am going to wait on those because the flooring is great so let's get the flooring out here this is going to take up quite a bit of space um, because it is an entire, like, supposed to be a section of a base. All right. And this, I'm, I'm assuming, is the part that a lot of people have been having issues with. Is the flooring and the clippings and stuff. Now, 
some of these plastics do feel a little bit are uh, on the brittle, cheaper side. Um, I'm I'm assuming that's just to keep costs down with some of these sets. Some of these sets do run. Most of these sets, excuse me, run around the forty to fifty dollar range. Um, I paid forty two for this set, which I don't think is pretty bad um, at all. Um, I might have paid a little less. I can't remember. I, like I said, I got this one off Locker Toys, and it was a I pre-ordered it a while ago, so I'm just getting it. Uh, or I didn't pre-order it. I ordered it a while ago. Sorry. <sighs> Anyway, there's no real, like I said, one way to do things. Everything kind of pegs into place here. So you can set it up any way you want. But like I said, I'm just going to set it up the way it shows on the package. Sorry, I was reaching. If you're wondering what these weird grunt noises are. Um, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going three across, or three wide, excuse me. And then, uh, or what am I talking about? Two, uh, three, three in length, excuse me. So we want to do one, two, three. And then we want to do one, two, three. One, two, three. I feel like I'm the count. I'm counting with you. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. So there we go. This is how, basically how large the set will be. And I'm going to preemptively warn everyone, since I am shooting this live, and there's pretty much nothing I can do about this until my flooring in my, my house is done, because we're redoing the floors in my house. I'm going to preemptively warn all of you that my girlfriend is out. <laughs> she had to bring her son to the airport. And as soon as she returns, I'm sure you will hear pure chaos as far as dog barks. So prepare your ears and your minds and your souls for pure chaos as soon as she comes home. Because it happens every time. It doesn't matter. I could be gone six, seven minutes. I come back. Same reaction every time. It's mostly our German Shepherd and our Great Dane. So preemptively warning you. This, this could possibly blow your eardrums out. I'm just kidding. I'm, 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 oh, I'm over-exaggerating. But you will hear some crying. You will hear some barking. And I <laughs> just wanted to warn you all about that. All right, so on here, it really wants us to assemble the weapons racks first, which, you know, I normally like to do the floors first, but it seems like we got our floors pretty much set up. They don't really clip into place for the most part. At least I don't see that they do. It seems like it just wants you to peg them in. Um, maybe there's the flooring pieces right here, and these will peg them in. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We'll do it my way because it's my way, my way, my way or the highway. This time I'm moving on to This time I'm staying up in chat. I'm doing things my way. It's my way, my way, or the highway. Sorry, okay, I'm done with that. All right, so we have these right here, and we have a ton of these right here. Look like little Lego pieces. I believe you're simply just going to go like this and put this into the bottom. Put this into the bottom. Clip it in like a so. Um, and Jossie, hit me up, man. I uh, messaged you guys and see if you wanted to do a podcast later. So hit me up, bud, um, if you're still on here. Uh, all right. And then we'll just keep connecting. Connect the dots. Connect the clips. Connect the pegs or whatever the hell you call them. All that fun shite. Pretty easy. They're going in very nice and smooth. I don't have any issues with any of that. Um, and they have grooves right here. Oh, whoa, hello. I'm also reaching over my camera, so this is kind of uh, kind of an uncomfortable thing to do. But you'll see they have little grooves right there. And then you just want to Madonna that shit. You want to get it into the groove, you know. Get into the groove, boy. You got to prove. Yeah, me. Come on. Everybody knows that song. I mean, don't even, don't even, don't, don't do it. Don't prejudge. Just kidding. <laughs> you guys. All right. 
You guys are so, you guys are sassy. You know that? You're sassafrasses. All right. Anyway, let's get that in there. There we go. Got some flooring. Hey, what do you know? It's a floor. How you doing? Get out of here. Uh, uh, you said, uh, definitely? Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah, I'm in the mood to, uh, to pass tonight, so I'd like to do that. It's like one of my few days off, man. It's usually, uh, you know, pretty busy during the week as far as work goes. Like cracking that whip on me. Cracking the shit out of that whip on me. All right, so another thing that might help keep the flooring from kind of popping up like this situation is just to kind of peg two more in there. Um, you have a ton of these, so it, it really shouldn't bother you too much. Um, hopefully these sit flatter than, they sh than they seem like they're going to. Let's see if that sits okay. I just don't want to have these popping out of place. But they should be all right. Because these have grooves. These sections... Well, way off camera. Um, these sections have grooves right here. But these don't have grooves. So they're kind of just next to each other. But I'm just putting one there. Just to keep it tight. Toy. Like a toyger. Anyway. Uh, and then we'll just pop that piece in. I should probably readjust my camera here. Up a little bit. There we go. Uh, there is just entirely too much stuff on this. I cannot wait to get my new review space done. I can't wait till these floors are done. And then, oh, my lord. My lord, T. My lord, T, lord. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do some of this right here. Situation. And like I said, the flooring's going really nicely. Very nice. I just want to make sure that those are nice and tight. I'm trying to think, what, what is tight like a tiger from? Is that from Starsky and Hutch? The movie remake with Ben Stiller? Or is it tight like a toy? I know it's Ben Stiller. If you want to remove the floor peg, stick something in the holes from the top, push them out. Gotcha. Oh, okay, that's a good tip. That's a good tip, thank you. Not much of being lazy with my base. But I got you hyped to do yours, nice. Um, you should flip the floor over, then connect them. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just kind of doing it my own dipshit kind of way, you know. You know how that goes. Heh <laughs> I like to do things the hard way, okay? Terry, God. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so these two pieces right here are gonna be our top floor. So we're gonna wait on those. They're gonna go like katang, like that. And they're gonna make that noise too when they connect, katang. All right, so next up what I wanna do is put some of these weapon racks together for you. That didn't rhyme like I wanted it to. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm trying, okay? I'm just trying. I got people texting me now. God damn it. God damn it. All right, so we have our racks next. We have a one, a two, a one, a two. We have a, oh my God. Three and a four. Oh my God, I got the fridge. Refrigerator. Um, and then we have one, two of those, and then one of those, and then we have four of these. Two or three. There is no try. <laughs> so there we go. Let's make a mess. Yes. You know, they say geniuses, most geniuses make a mess, but I don't know if you'd call me a genius. <laughs> Self-deprecation. <laughs> Much. Anyway, <laughs> so let's move on to this. Um, later on today, I also have um, a couple announcements to make and a few things I want to touch on. 
far as like the <laughs> pay apparently the collecting world has gone fucking to hell in a handbasket. People have just gone nuts lately, so I did want to dissect that and then talk about that for a little bit. All right, so for these, oh wow, this is so easy. My lord. <laughs> this is like the easiest thing ever. All right, so you have, for the racks themselves, you have pegs here, you have holes there. Let's put two and two together here. Or three and three. What, however, you know, you know, whatever. <sighs> God. So we got that, and then we'll just put those together. Oh, wait. Are you too heavy for the hole? You're not in the hole. Oh, wait, no. Okay, do these not line up? Oh, we're learning, folks. We are learning. Oh, it's probably because, no, yeah, those don't want to do that. So we'll have to figure that out. Like I said, growing pains, growing pains. Zorpox, what's up, buddy? Shit. What's going on, my man? The man that destroys all of the Zorpox. Not chicken pox, not small pox, but Zorpox. And no, it's not kind of, he's not, he's not an epoxy. He's just a Zorpox, okay? God. Jeez. You know, everybody's been questioning about Zorpox, and they're like, hey, what the, what the, is he, is he, is he a part of, you know, some sort of crazy itching? Do I get a rash from a Zorpox? I don't know. What I do know is that he's part of the Zor clan and he destroys all the pox, okay? So there's no small pox because of him. And, oops, I'm dropping shit. And there's no chicken pox, okay? I had chicken pox when I was younger. I called Zor pox up, got rid of him for me. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. So where did I get this? I need something reasonable for the old... Modern G.I. Joes, G.I. Joes then buying old play sets, still want the Terradrome, Radar Station, and Bunker, etc. Well, you can purchase these. On, I believe they have them available on Amazon. I'm not sure um, if they all have prime shipping. Some of them don't. Um, but you can purchase them on Amazon. You can purchase them on Big Bad Toy Store. And you can purchase them on LockerToys.com. I would definitely suggest checking out Locker Toys first. That's going to be the cheapest route. They have really fast shipping. Um, I want to say I got this set within three days, and I ordered another figure with it. What, what the hell figure did I order? Oh, I ordered her. Hi. She's sassy, too. She's, she's a sarsaparilla. Uh, you think this would be good... Pad out, uh, open a terror, wait, 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 what? Pad out a open terror drum, by the way. Um, Jay, you're gonna have to re, you're gonna have to, I'm not sure what you mean by that. But those are the places where you can find this set. All right, so the first, first one we'll do is just the blank. I believe these are just the blank ones. And we're gonna just peg peg on Peggy Sue this on in. Right? So I'm gonna set that up like that. Nice generic spec open last spec ops lady, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. She's she's pretty awesome. She um she is a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, lady. Talking about my sassy lady, and the lady is mine. But anyway, um, yeah, she's really cool. She really reminds me of like a uh, Titanfall-esque pilot. So female pilot, which I have a couple ideas of how I'm going to use her specifically. So I'll probably use her with one of my mechs. And she'll fit in very nice. She's pretty cool. And she does come with an alternate head, which is actually in this bag right here. But I'm getting way off topic, and I need to put her down. This is what I have to I have to constantly tell myself. You're getting off topic again. You know when you're up in the pterodrome and it has the two walls hanging out and struts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a pterodrome myself. Uh, I know what you mean. Um, 
Uh, it could, yeah, you could work, you could work with this on that. Um, I, I guess you could build around it or I, I'm not, I'm just, it'd be kind of tough cause it's circular and these are, you know, square or, you know, rectangular, whatever you want to call it. Not the YouTuber. God. Jeez. Anyway, but, um. Yes, you could possibly um, use some of these pieces for the Terradrome if you wanted to. Separation pieces, you can clip them in maybe. But like I said, it, because it's so round and it is, I'll say this, after owning a Terradrome, they are kind of small. It, it seems like a really big, big playset, but it's not nearly as big as like something like the Flag um, or the Defiant, which I've seen both in hand or both in front of me and I've, you know, in hand or whatever you want to call it. Um, but, uh, I own a Terradrome. It's like one of the things, cause I don't own a flag and I don't own a Defiant, but I own that. It was like the big thing on my list to get, I got it a few years ago. Uh, I'll be receiving my GI Joe Steel Brigade Delta tomorrow. Been looking for one for months. Really? Which, uh, Steel Brigade? Like the OG one, Terry? Cause that's pretty awesome, man. Those are hard to find, and those are those go for big bucks, especially if it comes with the sheet for it. Eh. I'm just putting those there just for now. I know it doesn't go like that. Someone, someone's gonna be in the comments. They're gonna be like, "Oh my god, what are you doing? How are you setting this up like this? This is just stupid. You're a stupid head." Um. All right, next. What I want to do, what I want to do, girl, to you. Oh, oh. Um, I think the weapons, yeah, the weapons racks have to be outward. It's just a little weird that these two pegs don't line up. Do they line up? Oh, they do line up. What the fridge am I, what the refrigerator parry am I doing? Oh, the green one. All the green one and all the green horses and all the greens men couldn't put ODC back together again. Uh, the oh, the green one, what was it? Oh, 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 all the green. Oh, here comes the, here comes the barking. You ready? Here she, because she just got back home. Here goes the barking. First, you're gonna hear the German Shepherd. She's gonna go. Oh my God! There's no barking. I cannot believe this is this is this is history right here. There's no barking going on. How is this a thing, hon? She's shaking her head. She doesn't know. This is the most silent my dogs have ever been when someone comes home. I I I, I am absolutely baffled. Maybe it's because I preemptively warned everybody. Oh oh! Now it's starting. It's starting. It's beginning to start. No. Yes, no, I don't know. Hey, every base needs hallways. Oh yeah, I agree. I I concur. So these will actually do peg into those two top holes right there. You got these right here and here. And I do have to say on all of these weapons racks, there's nice light shading going on. It's not too much, um, so that's good. Hi, doggy. Um, they said hello back. Thank you, Jay. Um, so the, 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 uh, paint shading on all of this, um, does differentiate between, and then, like I said, there's even paint shading on these little racks right here, which they didn't really have to do, but it's, it's nice that they did do. And it's subtle. It's not too much. It's not like acid rain figures where they they just look like they just rolled around in shit and mud for 12 hours, you know? <laughs> I know some people like acid rain figures. They're just not my cup of tea. But anyway, let's do this thing. Let's do this funky chicken. Let's do this funky chicken. We're going to gobble you up and spit you out. <laughs> All right, so they want one of these on each side. And I know I'm not doing anything in order. But this is the way I do things, okay? <laughs> I 
do things the way I do them. All right. Get on in there, boy. All in there, deep black. Yeah, boy. Get in there. Oop. I really, I really do have to say that um, these kind of had me worried a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. Um, maybe I'll try this side and just see if that side's a little bit looser. Because this one went in really smooth. Um, but the other one is just, it's a little bit tighter. It's a little bit, oh, that snapped in. Okay, all right. We are in like Flynn. And you can scooch them around a little bit. So that's what you want right there. You want something just a little bit like this. And then you kind of want to find it kind of they kind of want to go in by the threes. If you put them in kind of sideways like this, they don't really want to go into those holes if they're offset. And I'm trying to get the lighting in here so you guys see what the hell I'm talking about. So I'll just lift up my camera. <laughs> See how those are offset, those holes? They're not gonna wanna peg in. Um, so you can just peg them in right there because these two beams have pegs there. You can peg the walls in anywhere and offset the walls because the walls just have that one peg in the center. But once you put these beams attached to the side, you're gonna have to go with the very specific ways. So there's just an example for you. Um, let's go ahead and do one more rack for the top piece and then we'll go ahead and install our top beams and we'll have our top section all done. I got the floors done. I know I'm kind of going way out of order. I don't I mean, there's not really one way to do things. Um, but you know, whatever. My mind is a ball of chaos. So it's not, it's not, it's not anything. It's just a ball of chaos. All right. The ball of chaos that I wake up with every day. So we'll continue this. Okay, let's see. I like the stairs on the box from what I can tell. There's no way to go from first to second floor. Uh, or vice versa on the pterodrome. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yep, there isn't really. It's kind of, you got to kind of use your imagination with the pterodrome, you know. Um, that's what she said, action figure expert. Okay, that's what she said. Um, so I do wonder how people, um, people up top don't get burnt when the fighter takes off unless you evacuate for, oh yeah, I know. In the Defiant Complex, I know. It's like, it's kind of like one of those scenarios where you have to just use your imagination to say, oh, they're, they're in a safe area i don't know i'm just trying to give you a an idea of what you could use all right so next we're going to get all of these set up here and i'm sorry if i preemptively bumped the camera but there we go let's get those all popped in those are snap a dude in snap a dude it says snap on like the tool company Snap a dude. Snap a dude. A da da la da dude. A dee 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 da dee 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 dude. And there we go. We snapped a dude. Snap a into it like a slam gym. This is what I do when I'm trying to focus on stuff. I, yeah, I kind of talk to myself. All right, anyway. What new death here, baby? Yes. Oh, God, no, no dusty. No dusty today. We ain't doing that. We ain't gonna do no dusty rolls today, okay? All right, so I gotta get my head out of my ass here and figure out what I want to be the top piece. And I think I'm just gonna go with this. All right, and you'll see these ports here. These holes, ports on top. And this is going to be the top section for this right here, baby. It's going to snap that in like a Slim Jim, baby. Snap into it. Yeah. Eh. I'm going to eh. I'm going to eh. I'm trying not to force anything. 
Uh oh. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Get in there, you little holy. Little turkey lips. Get in there. Okay, turkey lips um, snapped itself in. Really trying not to force anything, but I also kind of have to do have to put some pressure here. So hopefully nothing breaks. But if it does, <laughs> I guess what we got? Glue. Yep. Not poo, but glue. Come on. Come on, girl. Ease yourself in there. There we go. All right, so we got our top section here. That's what I wanted to do. Thanks for the Dusty. Just saw Dark Side of the Ring episode. Um, usually not a cheerful show. Yeah, you know, it's not. I saw the whole, um, what was it? Uh, I saw a few of them. Uh, I'm trying to think. What the hell ones did I see? Montreal Screwjob one. The Bret Hart one. Shawn Michaels one. That was good. You know. I feel like the Montreal Screwjob has been beaten over people's heads to death. Like, I, if I hear about the Montreal Screwjob one more time, I might jump out of a window somewhere. I'm not going to say how far the fall might be after I jump out of the window, but if I see one more thing about the Montreal Screwjob in my lifetime, my God, as my aunt would say, whoa, holeta. Okay? Don't ask me what that means. I know it's probably Polish, but, you know, whoa, holeta. So, there we go. All right, moving on. I'm pretty sure that we don't need... Let me check and see if we need another beam on the other side of that. And I don't think... Oh, no, we do. Which is, I feel like, a little overkill. Why would we need another beam on that side? Oh, to connect this. Yeah, you do. You have to do this. So, here's the other part of the top section that we're finishing off here. And once we get all this connected, it seems like it's overkill, but it does make sense at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, Dark Side of the Ring is definitely awesome. Um, really, really good stuff. Um, maybe it was the Montreal Screwjob stuff. Oh, it was that. Uh, did you guys check out the A and E Shawn Michaels um, documentary? Because that was pretty good. That was some good stuff. Not, I mean, if you already have his DVDs. Um, I think I have all those DVDs, but, you know, that's just me. I'm a Shawn Michaels fan. But if you, whoa, hello, bump the camera there much. Um, if you do have his DVDs, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, all right, and now we need that other top section. Where are you? Top section. Top section. All right, so we're gonna, just going to attach that. But pretty good A&E documentary with Shawn. Um, if you're a Shawn Michaels fan. If not, then you probably won't give a shit. But um, still, I love I love me some wrestling documentaries. I feel like wrestling is such a fascinating pro wrestling is such a fascinating thing uh, with so much history, rich history, um, and dating back to such a long time. You know, people don't realize how long pro wrestling has been going on for. They just think, oh, oh, Hulk Hogan in the eighties. No, 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 wrestling's been going on for a very long time. The show must go on. The current product sucks and it's boring as shit, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to wiggle it just a little bit. I want to see you wiggle it just a little bit. When I was a kid, I used to think he said Sonic Boom after that because I, I loved playing uh, Street Fighter. Wiggle it. Just a little bit. I want you go in. Sonic Boom. I don't know why. <laughs> he said Sonic Boom, but he doesn't. <laughs> Holy Toledo, this will not peg in. <laughs> I am. I like to think I'm. And I'm not try. I'm not. I'm really not trying to. First floor window. If you had enough of these, could you build a suspension bridge? I have no idea. Like I said, this is my first set. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but look what I'm doing to my hand. Hi. Um, <laughs> you could attempt to? There we go. Finally popped in. No issues. What? I had to use a little bit of force. 
I had too many words in my mouth apparently then, just now. But this is going to be our top section right here. You're going to put these two together, and it's going to be the top floor up here. Patow, like that. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and connect these pieces. And this will be my floor, and then I'll connect the top sections together with that. And then we'll be moving on up, moving on up to the second floor. Moving on up. Uh, connecting here, connecting there, connecting everywhere. Connect that piece right there. There we go. Oh, would you look at that? Just look at it. I know, some people probably think I'm an idiot, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Remember to use the force, says Terry. Very good. Very good. I will use the force. And now I'm just connecting the bottom section to that section right there. And I'm gonna have to use some some more force. <laughs> and we're gonna do a little bit of the pushies. And we're gonna do some more pushies. My stomach is just doing some friggin' annoying noises right now. Shut up, stomach! All right. There we go. Ha ha! Huzzah! Look at that. It's starting to look like something, huh, folks? Holy sheep shit on a shingle. Let's see if I missed any comments here. Yes, Sinestro. Hope I can get some old school styrofoam in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for the... Oh, you yeah, already read that. I saw one about Jake the Snake, Roberts. Yeah, Jake Jake and his dad had a pretty screwed up relationship, man. Yep, they certainly did. All right, I'm going to have to do this one right here, like so. His dad is a f uh, former wrestler, and I don't know. Jake was a different type of wrestler than his father. I guess his father kind of didn't agree with a lot of things that Jake did. And they kind of had a wobbly relationship. At least that's what it said on, uh, was it uh, documentary? Uh, did I, did you see the leaks for series four GI Joe Walmart collection? Oh yeah. I don't collect those. Um, I did. I saw a stalker and what was it? The trooper, but I don't collect the vintage collection. I already have the 30th anniversary stalker, so I'm good. And I have the, what was it, the 25th anniversary one, so I'm good. Which is, I understand it uses different parts, but it's like, how many of the same stalker do I need to get? I have the vintage one. I have, not the vintage collection one, not the modern one. But I have the vintage vintage one. Then I have the 30th anniversary um, which is AKA kind of pursuit of Cobra, the 30th anniversary line. Um, but I also have the 25th anniversary one. So I'm like, how many other stalkers do I need? And I'm not a really big fan of that vintage collection line. I get someone else's thing. Great. Fantastic. Go, go nuts. Not my money. Don't care. But for me, I could care less about that line. They should spread it out better? No, what they should do is get all new molds for the figures. I mean, when you look at a Marauder's Task Force figure or, you know, you look at a Joy Toy figure, these are all new molds, and they've had more than enough time. They've had, you know, 11 years to start giving us new molds, and they just keep rehashing the same old garbage that they've been giving us. Out-of-date bodies and crappy hands and... They're using 25th anniversary body pieces. I just, I'm not about that life, you know? So, I just can't do those. You say that about, you say that about Starker, but they make a hundred snake eyes. Do we really need that many snake eyes? 
I don't, I don't, what are you talking about stalker? What, huh? I didn't say anything about stalker. I said, I have this stalker and that stalker. I just don't need another stalker. I wasn't shitting all over stalker. <laughs> what I was saying was, I don't need one personally. I wasn't talking about everybody else. What I was saying, that's what I was saying. So, no, and we don't need any more snake eyes either. But they can't get off of that, that train. So, <laughs> that's what I was saying. All right, so we got our top section here. Kadang. Kabang. Put that down over here. We're going to do the railings last because I think those are going to be the biggest pain in the derriere. Um, hmm. How do I want to... Okay, I got to connect this piece because we want more racks. We want racks on racks on racks. All right. Well, this is this is why you never assume, Norris. You never assume what someone is trying to say. You know. They kind of doubled down with the movie. Yuck! That Snake Eyes movie looks like hot, drizzling shits garbage. All right, so next we're going to put these pieces together, and that's what we're doing. And I'm going to pop that in. Brr. The Snake Eyes movie looks like a Fast and the Furious movie. You know? <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> and I'm good on that. I'm good on that situation. I will not give them my money for that movie. I'm good. Uh, all right, so we've got that all situated. So now we're going to take our pieces like we just did with the other flooring, and we're going to kind of try and do this the wrong way. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this the wrong way. Don't ask me why. I didn't ask myself. Um, but that's what we're going to do. I continue to bump the camera. It's probably making someone really annoyed. I'm bumping the camera constantly. So we'll just put that there for now. I just need it to stand up. All right, next up. Diddly, 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 diddly do. Hi, diddly do. It really does. And when you, and when the horrid movie and toys bomb Hasbro Brass will say, G.I. Joe just doesn't sell. I agree. Uh, Dem Gut says, facts, ODC. I was putting my collection into Ziploc bags and tried... I tried stand a Cobra Trooper and it kept falling over. Yep, pretty much. You know, those those outdated bodies don't help. They do not help. All right, so for the last one, we're going to do something a little bit different. Obviously, this isn't the different section. Wow, that really went in very easily. But for this last part, the reason why I only have one of these left over is because you're going to put this door on there. And you're going to put it right there. Bam, Topanga. And that's going to sit just like that. Okie dokie dokie okie. This is going to be a big set, man. It's going to be pretty big. Uh, I mean, yeah, I definitely, Jay, I definitely could see that happening. That's what they, I think, I think that's kind of what they want is, I mean, they don't want Geo Joe not to sell, um, but I don't think they really care about it like they do their big bucks like Star Wars and Marvel. You know, I just don't think they give a shit. Which is funny because, you know, how much in, you know, right copyrights and such or trademarks, excuse me, not copyrights, but trademarks that they have to pay Marvel and Star Wars to produce products for them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't work in the toy industry. I don't know the answers to these questions. I wish I did. Um, you build walls. What about plumbing? Oh man, I fuck, I forgot about the plumbing. Yeah, that's what G.I. Joe needs. A plumber. You know? When you think about it, really, they need a plumber. They got everything else. 
but a plumber. You know? Maybe Joy Toy will come out with a plumber. Who knows? We already get the maintenance crew. I'll just make one of them a plumber. I'll give them a little plumber's crack, you know? There we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm stealing that. I didn't I didn't think to add the wall rack. Oh, okay. Do it, man. Steal that shit. Um I mean, has any of these schmucks ever been to a comic or toy convention? I went I went to one at a Shriners convention hall weeks ago, and folks were buying the old expensive Joes and the new ones. They need toilets. They do. This does need a toilet, you know? Where does everyone poop? Do they just poo on the floor? Do they poo in buckets and then throw it out? Because that's not sanitary. That's not sanitary. That's not sanitary. You know? That's, that's, that's biohazard right there. That's a hazardous material. You can't just throw that out. And I know, because I used to work for the city. I'm not going to say which city. But I worked for a city. And someone once, when we were throwing out garbage for people, decided to take all of their human shit and put it into a uh, bucket and leave it out on the curb like it's regular garbage. But guess what, folks? You can't do that because it's not sanitary and it's hazardous and it's disgusting. Yes, people like this exist. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to that. I'm going to have to do this off camera just because it's in a weird angle and I'm just going to be clicking these into place anyway. It's not anything crazy important. Like, literally, that took me five seconds to do. So I'm going to do some click a doos while I talk to you. Uh, there's no mistake. Just happy accidents. Bob Ross from the joy of painting. He is, that is a brilliant man. That is a brilliant man. I love, who, I don't know anyone that's like, fuck Bob Ross. You know what I mean? Like, God, he's just such a cool guy. Such a nice, genuine person. Not a lot of genuine people in this world, but he is one of them, you know? He is one of them. I would like to have a, a painting session with Bob Ross, you know? You know, have a beer, relax. I know he probably doesn't drink. Maybe I'll have some wine. I feel like he's more of a wine drinker, Bob Ross. I might be wrong, but that's just the feeling I get. I have some wine. I like me a nice red cab. Give me that cab, Reno. Give me some Josh. Give me some Federalist. And I'll go with it, man. Let's do it. In real life, in the field, you dig a hole, dump in an empty ammo box, and you can put, you can't do this proper base. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. You got to take a dump of dew in the ground to Um Need portage -ons? <laughs> I know, right? He died in the 90s, sorry. Yeah, I know. I know he died, but, you know. That's, you know, it's, it's just one of those people where you'd like to meet, like Gandhi or, you know, um, you know. One of those epic people that you, you always want to meet. So, all right. So next to, next up, we're going to do... So we've got weapons racks. We're going to have weapons racks down downtown. I'm calling it downtown. Just... <laughs> um, but we're going to have weapons racks downstairs and then upstairs also. So that's going to be pretty cool. And we get, a nice, we get to build a nice little table. Let's build a nice little table here. Billy, where's the other part of the table? There we go. All right, so we got our little table here. Bob Ross passed away in 1995. Rest in peace, Bob Ross. I feel like maybe I should do a live stream where I just do kind of like a very positive, happy, zen-like action figure review in remembrance of Bob Ross. That's what I should do. You know, that's that's a good idea. That's my idea. I'm going to do that. 
So every year on Bob Ross's birthday, we're going to do a nice, calm, relaxing review. Okay? And it'll be a Bob Ross memoriam toy review. Okay? That's what we're going to do. It's my idea. If you see anybody trying to steal my idea, give them the smackdown. Okay? Call the rock. Tell them to go over their house and rock bottom through a table. Okay? I will wear an afro. I'm bald as shit, but I will wear an afro. I actually dressed up as Bob Ross one year for Halloween, and I even had my little, like, easel. I had carried around an easel, and I had a little canvas, and, you know, we got it done. We got it in. Okay? I was, I was, got it in, man. I still have my afro, and I will wear that shit. Okay? Don't tempt me. Don't you, don't you tempt me. I will do it. And you will like it. I'm sorry, I'm not pointing directly at you. Eh, gotta get my, eh, my hand out of, eh, this is weird. Okay. I know NECA makes a Bob Ross action figure, but I don't like buying NECA products because they suck. But I might be forced to. And my girlfriend loves Bob Ross. She actually, and I don't, I don't, you know, endorse Pop Funkos because I think they're stupid. But she does have a Pop Funko of Bob Ross. It's the only one I'll endorse because I can't be mean to something that has Bob Ross on it. It's just not, I feel like that's just counterproductive. Anyway, we put our table together because I'm just talking about nonsense here. So there we go. <laughs> talking about absolute nothing. Nothing. Okay, there's our table. Um, next up, we're going to do the beams, which are going to go right here, and they're going to go like, yada, bada bing, bada boom. How you doing, bro? Murph. Merka. Murph, Merka. Merka. And then next up, we're going to do high diddly doo ski. High diddly diddly do, diddly do. Oh, wait, do I want to do? Oh, crap, I might have put them in the wrong shit. Hold on, let me check this. I got to check the box because I can't see where it. Ah, oh, shit. Put these in the wrong holes. Oh, wait, did I? Did I put them in the wrong? Oh, I did. I put them in the wrong holes. So be sure to not do what I just did. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, have mercy. Oh, please. Oh, thank God. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, have mercy. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Come on. Chant with me. Chant with me so I get it out without snapping anything. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, have mercy. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, have mercy. Oh, crap. This one's really in there. Oh, God, I'm not paying attention. I don't feel like going to get a hairdryer. I'm doing this all wrong. Don't do what I'm doing. Folks, this is a G.I. Joe PSA. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, have mercy. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, please. <sighs> okay, now put it in the other hole. Get in your other hole, mister. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Did you guys chant with me? I felt I felt your chant. That's why it came out properly. Okay? Do, do, do. There we go. Hi-ya. Okay, next up, we're going to do some diddly do skis right here. All right, so you want these pegged into the same section as here. So don't do what I just did and peg them too far out because then they won't line up with this right here because then they'll be cock, uh, cockeyed and a little bit further out than they should be. <laughs> and then you won't be able to put the top floor on, which is what I'm tempted to do next. <laughs> I twisted them at the base and pushed them, pushed, push penned through the bottom. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. So if you ever get these stuck in there, Jossie's basically saying, or Dem Guts is saying, um, you can twist the top while pushing in on the other side because these are holes that go straight through. 
as you can see there. Hi, I'm waving at you through the hole. Um, you can push through and that'll actually help. That's actually probably a better route to go than what I was doing. What I was doing is it, it seemed like I was pulling, but I wasn't. I was just wiggling and wobbling and trying to guide it out slowly. So just try not to, you know, yank on it and pull it and then you snap something. Or God forbid, don't bend any of these a certain way. But just try to be careful. Use, use your common sense. All right, so next up we're gonna do the stairs. So let's get some stairs up in here. We got one piece of stair, another piece of the stair. Let's put them right there. Hello, dear. <laughs> Hello, dear stair. <laughs> and how? And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. That's correct. Are those pillars struts? Yes, they're kind of like those metal. Kind of like, they're supposed to be like metal bar truss, I guess. They're not really a truss because it doesn't connect, but, you know, they're kind of meant as beams, metal beams to hold up the structure, you know, to give that, that structure aesthetic. I still have not used any of these. I'm starting to worry. Oh, boy. But I'm pretty sure those are stairs, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> Just kidding. I had you worried for a second, though, didn't I? He's like, oh, God, what do you forget? Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys going through these, these growing pains. Let's get this shit out of the way because there's just too much stuff in my way right now. And it's starting to annoy me. I don't like when things are in my way. There's two things I don't like. When things are in my way, and then when things are late, when I'm late for something. I, just, I can't stand it. It drives me nuts. I hate it, and I hate it more than mayonnaise, Oz. And you know how much I may hate mayonnaise. Can anybody tell me what movie that's from? A little trivia while we're doing this, okay? If anybody can name what that quote is from, you get five gold stars. And not stickers either. Just gold stars. Duh. I uh, felt a great disturbance in the force as millions of people bought NECA figures and all of a sudden were disappointed. <laughs> That's great. Oh, crazy 836, or 360. Thank you for saying that. I wish I could find the Reaction Super 7 Robocop 3 figure. I know the film is bad, but I want the uh, rifle attachment uh, for my glow-in-the-dark Robocop. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. The Reaction Super 7 one. Oh, okay. I thought the uh, five points of articulation one. The five points of our tickles. Huh? All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start at, start at the bottom. Now we're here. Start at the bottom. Now the whole who's here. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. So what you want to do is you want to take these little steps here and just, you know, pop them in. Pop them on in. Don't worry if some paint comes off because you're not going to see it anyway. So what difference does it make? Does it make a difference? No, oh, it doesn't. All right, let's put that. Put it in that hole, my mother flipping hole. Put it in the hole, mother flipping hole. We're building some stairs, not to be confused with pear air airs. I don't know what I'm saying. People probably think I'm nuts, little nuts. Maybe I am. Just misunderstood, man. You just, you just don't get me, okay? You just don't. You just, you just don't complete me, okay? But I'm gonna complete these stairs. <laughs> I'll do my Pee Wee Herman. No, Daddy. Maloner. Rebel. 
Anyway, let's put these freaking stairs together. Dottie. There you go. You got some stairs. Okay. That Stop that annoying noise. Okay. Immediately. Uh, and I think we're good. All right. Um, that's the end of the stream. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to put the hard part in. Be right back. Sis on phone. Oh, my God. Not sis. Uh, yeah, the one that has modern articulation instead of the retro joints. Let me see. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I wish Super 7 actually did a RoboCop figure like the Turtles figures they do. Holy Toledo. That would be amazing. Not the reaction one, the uh, big boys. The $40 ones. That would be insane. Kiss Maximus Meridius. Um, I get them mixed up because the same company makes both. Yep, I do too sometimes. But then as soon as I see reaction, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the five points of articulation joints. Gotcha, brah. Gotcha. All right. So this one's going to be a little bit funky. It's going to be funky like a monkey, baby. It's not going to be no funky like no monkey. I am at Hong Kong restaurant in Florida watching this. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate that, bro. And enjoy your freaking meal, man. What are you eating? Tell me what you're eating. And then put it in your mouth. Sorry, I had to do that one. I mean, you just <laughs> you set that one up for me, bro. Kelly. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Get on in there. Put the food in your mouth. Sorry, couldn't help. I couldn't help myself. Come on, get yourself snapped in there, boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a girl, that was a man snap. That was a bam. That's a man, that's a man's man snap. <laughs> Bring him back. All right, so we got our table here. So we can eat our our snacky snacks on our table. Then we got, oh, you hear my stomach? I hope I hope that got recorded. Please tell me someone heard my stomach go. <laughs> Please, I hope someone heard that. <laughs> I really hope I got that on camera. Damn it. Now, I do like some NECA figures like Brett from Alien. Um, the sculpts look just like... Harry Dean Stanton. I can see, you know, that's the problem with them is like the sculpts look great. No one's debating that those sculpts, you know, I feel you on that, but it's like everything else with those. Oh boy. It's like the, the poo poos, you know, it's like, Oh yeah. Let's get some more snapping. Snap it. Do it. Oh yeah. You win them in the ring. You lose them in the ring. Dig it. Sorry. That was a really bad my 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 throat isn't trained for Macho Man. I have to really like hum diddly diddly dooski. You know, I have to tune my throat for for specific Macho Man. I usually do a better Macho Man than that. So it would be cheap cheaper to find the raffle attachment on eBay for Robocop three instead of buying the figure for like thirty or something dollars. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, so let's take a look at what we've done. I cannot, unfortunately, back up the camera any more than this. But I can do that. Oh, but I can only hold it for so long. But this is pretty tall, man. And I'll just give you guys kind of an idea of how tall this actually is. And I'll just bring in our lady here, our lady friend. Here she is. Here she comes, still walking down the street singing. I'm a lady, dirka, 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 do. There's a, that's a, what is it, four inch figure? There we go. I like to call them four inch figures because really a three and three quarter inch figure is, you know, let's bring in General Flag over here. That's a three and three quarter inch figure. If he'll stand, I'll be amazed. 
Okay. That's a three and three quarter inch figure, and she is bigger than him. So, and that's a female figure. So, let's bring in one of the males here. Male. Oh, he's a male man. I'm a male man. As you can see, he is much larger than both of them. So, and these two have helmets on. So if I put their alternate heads on, they'd be probably around, yeah, just a little bit taller, but they are taller. So that's a true three and three quarter inch figure. These are more four inch figures. So that's why I say four inch. Some people still say three and three quarter inch, but really, come on now, guys. Let's not lie to ourselves here. They're four inch. We've moved on. We've evolved as human beings into four inch figures. Huh? Do you guys like my hammer? I, I used it to build this. Do you like? Okay. Anywho. Uh, okay, so these racks up top right here, these are very simple. You don't have to glue them. You don't have to do really much of anything with them. You just kind of place them right here, just like so. It's just as simple. Simple, easy, and you don't have to put them up there. It's like I said, it's personal preference, wherever you want to put them. I'm just kind of showing how the... The, uh, what you call it, uh, picture has them. And then down here as well. So you can put them down here also. Come on, get in there, stupid. And don't worry, I'm going to go through a whole bunch of comparisons. What kind of guns you can put in there. If a weapon will fit in there. You know, all that fun stuff. And all that jazz. Sorry. Had to do it. It had to be done. Actually, let's do that now. Come here, Duke. Give me your gun. Give me this. Let go, you jerk. Okay. So we got a regular, like, typical kind of G.I. Joe-ish gun. Here. Right here. And we're going to take this some bitch. We're going to turn it sideways. And we're going to stick it straight up in the weapons rack. Right in that candy ass. And it fits. Perfect. There's one. Let's see if we can put Baby Girl's weapon up in here. And it kind of fits. I think it's just the drum getting in the way, but that's a dope-ass gun. Um, you could also hang it up if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll hang her on up. All right, eight. And we'll do this. Right here. Come on. Get on there, you little... Some... Some of them... Bub, 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 Let me see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard for me to see what I'm doing here. I'm working with one hand, and I'm reaching over a camera, so... Try to be understanding. Oh, God, I'm dropping things all over the place. Let's try up here. I can see a little bit better up here. Uh, it, these pegs don't really fit through the trigger guard, but we'll try and figure it out. Uh, this one just doesn't like to stay. So for this one, because the situation is set up the way it is with this, it can probably fit on there if I finagle it some more. But it's just giving me a little bit of a hard time, so it'll still fit into the weapons rack, though. Just like so. It's okay if it sticks out a little bit, you know. It's all right. Not the end of the world. Um, so that's if you wanted to have her, you know, put her weapon there. Um, let me find some other weapons to see if... Uh, I, have a, I have a whole bunch of weapons. I have a whole bunch of weapons. Um, let me see. Who else wants to contribute here? Okay, we'll go with Jetpack Dude. Hi, my name's Jetpack Dude, and we're going to steal your gun. <laughs> Sorry. And that fits in there. Kind of a little bit, it's a little bit bulky, this one, this rifle right here. But that's okay. It could still fit in there. It's going to stay. So, no big deal. Let's see if it fits onto the rack. Hopefully it does. I really do like this this weapon though. It looks I really like this design. It looks like something like a I don't know, a 
hybrid uh, vector Chris, or Chris Vector, excuse me, if I'm saying that incorrectly, I sound like a jackhole. Um, but it should fit onto the, oh, God, I'm dropping things. It's kind of hard to see anything down there. Oh, come on, you little weapons rack. There we go. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Oh, and it's falling down. Okay. There's got to be a better way to do this. Anybody have any suggestions? Jossie, you still in here, bud? With these weapons racks. I want to say there's like a um, little hole opening. I'm trying to go through the trigger guard and sit it up higher. But it's just wanting to kind of fall down. And I have to make room for the magazine on there, too. So it's kind of a weird... Oh, there we go. That's kind of like wedged on there, but it you can see it does stay. Kind of like finagle it, wedge it in there. But once it's on there, it's not, it's not going to fall down. So there you go. Do you guys have any other questions about the weapons racks before I finish off everything with the railings and everything? Wouldn't it be cheaper to try to find the rifle attachment on eBay? Oh, never mind. We already talked about that. Never mind. <laughs> Just <laughs> I should go grab a snack. <laughs> no snack for me. I actually had... Uh, so, my girlfriend's son was leaving to go back to the Air Force. And he's going to South Korea. Because that's where he's uh, he chose to be stationed. Which is pretty awesome. We plan on going to visit him sometime next year which is going to be even more awesome because then we're going to Japan. We're going to hit up South Korea. Then we're going to go to Japan next year. So I'm not looking forward to that long-ass flight, but I am looking forward to going to both of those places, South Korea and Japan. I've always wanted to go to Japan. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So that's going to be a load of fun. But anyway, so what I'm getting to here is <laughs> the point um, is that um, – well, I had so much food today. My God, my girlfriend made this amazing beef stew that she makes. Oh, my gosh, so good. And then she made friggin' – he wanted uh, Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> in June. So we made him Thanksgiving dinner for him. You know, that's what he wants. That's what he gets. So pretty awesome. Pretty damn awesome. All right, so for the railings, um, you don't have to put the railings up. It's kind of – up to you. Let me just pivot this down so you can see what the hell I'm doing here. Um, you got holes here, holes here, and holes here. Um, I've seen some people setting these up where they're a little flimsy. I got no issue. It's nice and tight and sturdy in there. No issues. Let's go up top now. Holes here, holes here. This one's going to be a little bit shorter, and you're going to want to put it right, I think, right here. Just because the stairs are going to go right here. Like so, and then you're going to want that. Last piece right here. You're going to want to put that here and here. And just push down, push down, and it looks like we're done, folks. Here is your weapons depot completed. I don't have any pieces left on my table, thank God. Why is, what is Cyclops doing to Storm's face? Are you telling the sniffer to his two fingers? I don't know what's going on over there, but I, you know, act like a gentleman, Scott. For the love of God. <sighs> Fucking Scott. Yeah, don't worry about my, my pickle jar over there. That's just water, okay? <laughs> but uh, here is the entire weapons depot. And um, I think it's pretty cool, man. I, I dig it quite a bit. Um, if I had all the time in the world, I would fill this whole thing up with weapons and show you guys all, all that off. Um, maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll post, um, I'll get this thing all fully loaded and then I'll post some pictures on the Strident page because that's where I'm at usually for the most part. Um, and if you haven't joined the Strident page, um, I will leave a link in this video so you can go check, check that out. It's on Facebook. Join it up. Um, that's pretty much... Mine and Strident's group page, and you know, you can go check out uh, photos there of this thing fully loaded. I also post on my Facebook, my Facebook page too. <laughs> so there's that, 
And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But this is a pretty cool set, man. It was really easy to put together. Um, I took my time. It was fun. It was nice to do this with all of you. Um, also, if you have extra, you'll have extras of these. I have actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm actually going to take the eleventh one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just pop this sucker up here because these are a little bit off kilter up top. And I don't like that. It's annoying shit out of me. So I'll do that and pop that in place and that in place and push that down like so. And now we're kind of lining up a little bit better than what I liked before. Um, there we go. So you can do that. Use one of those on the top, very tippy tippy top like that. And um, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Things aren't always perfect perfectly lined up in life and that's okay you know but pretty awesome here and let's bring in yes i did crumble i know someone's gonna make fun of me probably jossie well <laughs> that's okay i couldn't help it and um they look so good and i don't think we'll ever get a paratrooper like this again as far as world war ii aesthetics but i went ahead and got the joy toy paratrooper set um you know my my grandfather was a uh, World War II paratrooper, and it just kind of hits home with me. And that's why I think I love paratroopers so much. Um, and I really, like, looked up to my grandfather quite a bit. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we'll put a paratrooper in there. Why not? And then we'll put a jetpack dude in there. Get him in there. Let me get my jetpack dude in there. God, I love these designs. These designs are just so amazing. I freaking love them. They're just so fun. Such fun, like, futuristic sci-fi stuff. I just eat that shit up, man. I eat it up. I eat it up. And I even got one of these guys. Hey! What if this thing, what if this thing delivered mail? Wouldn't that be awesome? Like, tick, 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 tick. and then, pluh, there's your package. It just fell out of this, this part. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um... Let's bring in uh, Miss Steina. Oh, Miss Steina. Oh, Miss Steina. Oh, Miss Steina Clementine. Let's we'll bring in Steina here. Oh, God. She's, she's just two seconds she's in here and she's already knocking people over. You rude, rude woman. Rude bitch. Put him up top. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Everything's going to be okay. You'll be up top. Mail drone. Yeah, man. We need more. We need mail drones, you know? We need some damn mail drones. We'll put her over here since she's so adamant about being by herself. Sorry to intrude. So sorry to intrude. All right, let's unplug that. <laughs> all right, let's get some more folks in here. We'll fill this all up and then we'll say bye bye. For, and then we'll come back later and do another video. Video, video. A video, video later. All right, who's making a cameo? Who wants a cameo? Who wants a cameo? Let's see here. Well, uh, let's bring in Nomad. Why not? Bring in some Nomad. We'll bring in one of my favorite figures, I think, from Joy Toy. Oh, man. I just... I can't help it. It's the... I know I probably have this on. Why, 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 what am I doing here? What, what am I doing? I promise I'll be there in one second. I just got his gun on the wrong damn way. There we go. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. All right, so here's one I kind of, kind of put together. Um, I just wanted a representation of Nomad from Ghost Recon Wildlands. And that's, that's him right there for me. So there's my nomad. I did make a jo uh, joy toy. I did make a Marauders nomad also, which I did. I showed in a other video, but um, this is another one of my just favorite joy toy figures. I just aesthetically, he's he's dope. His his helmet fits on nicely. Um, he looks the part of Titanfall esque. He is a damn titanfall pilot and i just dig him 
he's the uh, out of the three. Um, I really dig this Sergeant Major. He looks so damn cool. I love it. Yeah, no, there's no foot pegs, but you don't really need foot pegs because Joy Toy figures stand pretty well, man. It, it, it's not like G.I. Joe figures where they fall the hell over all the time. Like, this Duke. Ugh. Oh, God, this Duke, first of all. Um, but, you know, where you needed foot pegs before, and these still have foot pegs, you don't really need foot pegs with these guys. They stand. They do their thing, you know. Uh, bring in a Marauders figure. Who am I going to bring in? <laughs> who's coming in? All I want to know is who's coming with me. Um, let's bring in... All right, we'll do Metal Alert. I just keep staring at him. I can't help myself. I don't know why I'm... I. Got this, this was like the first DTC figure I ever got, was Metal Alert. And for some reason, I just felt like I had to make a custom of him. Even though he's probably like, most people are like, oh god, Metal Alert's terrible. I don't care, I like him. So here's a Marauders figure. Uh, uh, did I ever get any of the Fallout figures? No, I didn't. Um, I just... Put the chairs together for the testing area. Oh, you lucky turkey. Testing area. <laughs> Looks like it's for the 124th line. Too small. Oh, really? That's stupid. Are the testing areas 124 scale? What? The truck? Let me, let me see. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Joy toy uh, testing area set sometimes i have to say things when <laughs> um what is it this this guy the testing depot jossie you talking about that this one are you talking about that because i thought that was 118 scale let me see yeah it says 118 scale Set is 118 scale, but the chairs are not. Oh, no. Are you serious? So is it kind of like that computer set that I did the last time um, where they were like 124 scale chairs, but you could still fit like 118 scale figures in them? Gotcha. Since when was 124 scale a thing? Oh, with Joy Toy, it's been a thing for quite a while, actually. There's a lot of 124 scale mechs. Um, that's what they kind of started as, and then they moved to 118 scale because of the demand. Um, but they also make, they make 124 scale, they make 127 scale, they make 118 scale figures, Joy Toy does, so. Yep, just like the computer set. Okay, that's something to note. Okay, well, that's good to know. Thank you. Everybody thank them, them guts because we would not know that so I'm assuming that the, hold on, what's the name of that other set? I can't think off the top of my head. Uh, that other set with the computers and the computer monitors and the chairs, that's probably all 124 scale too. And I'm trying to think of what the heck the name of that damn set is. I'm pretty sure it's the, come on, where is it? Where are you, where are you, where are you? No, it's on that why I'm looking at oh, the Battle for the Stars Mecca Depot monitor monitoring area. Blah, 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 I can't talk. So this guy is probably 124 scale also then. I'm assuming these with the chairs. Because I did order those. I mean, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me that much. It might bother some other people. It doesn't bother me. but Because I have that... I have that, and if you guys want to go check out that review I did, I did a live review of the um, computer um, system, the Joy Toy computer uh, set or command set. I think it was called like a computer command set. Um, those were all 124 scale, that whole set, 
including like the chairs and everything is 124 scale. But you can still use it with the 118 scale figures, and I showed that in the review. So it's not the worst thing in the world. They're, the chairs are a little bit small, but you can still seat them in there, and they, they, they go fine. So if there's any if ands, or buts about that, um, or any uh, inquiries about that. Um, so that's good to know. I did not know that. I thought they upscaled them. You got that set too. You pre-ordered them. Yeah, me too. That's what I did. Um, I'm ex I'm stoked to get them. I'm stoked because I have so much. Um, I, once I finish my fl my flooring on my room, I have so much room in there to like do like full on headquarter displays, and I have just the shelving to do it with. So it's going to be perfect. I'm going to have the right amount of space for all my um, all my mechs and everything. And then they came out with that. Um, mech testing area. If you guys want to check out, I'll show you this really quick. If you guys have any, um, if you guys didn't know about this, on Big Boy Collectibles, they have, um, they have this. If you go under the, I believe it's, if you search under Joy Toy, um, the results should pop up. Yes, they are. And if you go to, I'll just tell you which page to go to, to, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about as soon as I find the darn thing. Come on. Or you can just go to brands. There we go. So on the Big Boy Collectibles website, you'll see this 112th scale armor testing base. If you tap that, it goes in over here. And see it right there yes i accept your stupid cookies on my face anyway um if you come over here um you can zoom in and you can see it's rather large and they even show a picture with the mech let me just zoom in here with this there we go and as you can see the base will actually fit perfectly with this base right here not this one sorry <laughs> not that one but the brand new one, which is going to be this one. The Mecha Depot maintenance area. So what I want to do is I want to take that base from Big Boy. This boy right here. I know there's a glare and I'm sorry. So everything is not clear. I want to take that base and I want to put it right there. So he's got something to stand on. And I think there's LED lights with it. I, I don't wait. Let me double check here. Uh, and we're testing base made of plastic. No, no. So no lighting, but what I want to do is I want to take LED lights. And I want to put them in the bottom or of the middle right there. And I want it to shine right through. So I'm hoping that that's clear plastic right there and I could shine a blue light right through and it'll boom, beam right on the center of this guy. So I think that'll be pretty awesome, man. That'll look pretty good. Um, it is on his site. He has them in stock right now. He's got, oh, he's only got one in stock. So there you go. Um, if you wanted to get it, go get it. Um, I just ordered one, what was it, uh, last week, I think? A few days ago, something like that. Yeah, last week. So, but there you go. There's just a little, you know, tip for the wise. I did pre-order this and that other set. What was it? That other, what was it? This one too. This one. It's like a, I guess another weapons rack area, staging area. I don't think I'm going to use the weapons racks on that one. I'm going to use that for something else. Um, but pretty cool though. Let me get that out of the way. It's probably bothering people's eyes or whatever. Um, but yeah, so there you go with the weapons area, weapons testing area. The stairs kind of don't really peg in. They kind of just move around, but that's okay. So, like, if you wanted to... Oh, 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 he's he's trying to attack him. That's just rude. No, attacking. Oh, God. Anyway, so if you wanted to remove this and have this just kind of like that, you could. Um, or if you want to have the stairs there, you can also. So, you know, the world is your oyster. Go for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who tuned in live. I appreciate that. 
I wish I bought some of the old racers back in the 80s. Some of them were chunky 80s uh, PC computers. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Other generic aliens. Yeah, you could totally use this for your aliens line, too, if you wanted to. Um, Predators, you know, the Hayatoi toy ones, even though I'm not a big fan of the Hayatoi toy figures, but um, could do that. That desk is nice. But it takes so much of the floor. Oh, my God. My stomach is making so many noises. Um, but, yeah, pretty cool. Um, thank you to everybody who stopped by and hung out. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to be coming back tonight to do a, another uh, G.I. Joe. Or Sorry, I keep saying G.I. Joe. Marauder's Task Force G.I. Joe build a character. So tune in for that. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Then I'm going to come right back with that uh, live video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, be sure to leave a comment down below if you're watching this on playback. Um, like I said, again, I shot this live. So if you're watching it on playback, be sure to leave me a comment. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate to ask me a question, any of that. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.